Hello my friends through the screen. Today we're going to take you on a spine chilling journey through the dark corners of the world where we're strictly prohibited from entering. These places are too dangerous, too cursed, or too downright evil for anyone to go. But that doesn't mean we can't talk about them. I'm Taylor, your casual crypt keeper, and I've got something for you today. Why don't you flick the lights off and hey, bring a buddy if you're going to get too scared as we dive into the top 5 evil places humans are prohibited to visit. Now they might be prohibited, but just for fun as a little thought experiment you let me know down below in the comments which of these you would love to book a little dark tourist destination vacation for and which of these you couldn't get paid to go to. I spend a good amount hunting through the darkest corners of the internet to bring you these videos, trudging through some seriously suspicious websites to serve up the scares I bring you. But I don't go out without something in my corner. So that's why I use Aura to protect where my data ends up. And this video today was sponsored to us by Aura. In the digital age, data brokers make a fortune selling your information to those who would love to learn more about you. Spammers, robocallers, and other unsavory types. But Aura can identify data brokers exposing your info and protect you. Now, legally, data brokers are required to remove your information, but they make it very hard to do on your own. But Aura excels at that, so let them handle that for you. With my face in the spotlight for Top 5 Scary, it's very important for me to control where my information ends up. I love my fans and I love hearing from them, but I don't want to hear from anybody who's trying to sell my phone number to a duck cleaning service. You can get up to two free weeks of Aura using my link below. Aura works round the clock to protect you and your loved ones from online threats you can't see in all kinds of ways. It's super easy to set up too. If your dad's like mine and struggles to make a Spotify playlist or something, don't worry, he'll be able to figure out Aura. It's one central app, so you don't need to download a whole slew of apps to get password management, parental controls, VPN, identity theft insurance, antivirus, and way more. You get all of that in one place at one affordable price. So browse with confidence and know that you've got a ring of protection around you. Let Aura keep you safe so you can scroll with peace of mind and spend more time watching terrifying YouTube videos like this one. Number five, the gates of hell. Coming up first on the list of cursed places today is going to be the gates of hell in Turkmenistan. Yeah, I bet you didn't know that that's where hell was. It's in Turkmenistan. No, don't worry, we're not being so literal. This place is not for the faint of heart as it's said to be one of the most cursed locations on the the planet. The Gates of Hell is a massive crater located in the middle of the Karakum Desert. Legend has it that this pit was created when Soviet geologists drilled into a pocket of natural gas, causing the ground beneath their rig to collapse and exposing a vast underground cavern filled with gas. The geologists then decided to set the gas on fire to prevent poisonous gas from spreading. I'm not a scientist or a gas man or anything, but that feels like the wrong move because the fire has been burning for over 50 years, creating an endless and infernal pit of flames that can reach up to 30 feet high. And probably a pretty cool place to keep a music festival. According to local folklore, the fiery pit is said to be a portal to the underworld with demonic entities and lost souls trapped within the flames. Visitors have reported feeling an overwhelming sense of dread and unease while standing near the crater, as if they're being watched by something malevolent. Some have even gone so far as to say they see shadowy figures moving in the flames. Others have heard disembodied voices and screams emanating from the pit. This also bears mentioning, and skip ahead if you're arachnophobic, but there's reports of a strange phenomenon of spiders en masse walking into the pit. They walk right into the fire and just burn right up. They're drawn to heat and light, but of course, it does also seem like it's a mass spider sacrifice, which just seems a little too satanic for me. And if that wasn't nearly enough to scare you, there are also people who claim that there are strange rituals being performed near the crater with mysterious symbols and offerings left at the edge of the pit. I think I will stay to the edge of my house and go nowhere near them. Number four, Huska Castle in the Czech Republic. Huska Castle, Huska Castle, Huska Castle, Huska Castle. I'll say that right one time. Huska Castle. This gothic masterpiece is located in the heart of the Czech Republic and has a dark and terrifying history that will send a chill down your spine. Legend has it that Huska Castle was built in the 13th century to seal a gateway to hell that had opened up on the site. Now, they didn't pay attention, the gateway to hell is in Turkmenistan, we just covered that. According to local folklore, the castle was constructed by prisoners who were promised their freedom if they could build it without windows or doors. 
creating an impenetrable fortress that would keep the demons and other malevolent entities at bay. But that's not all. That's not. There's more scares coming. Huska Castle has been the site of numerous supernatural occurrences and is said to be haunted by the ghosts of its past inhabitants. Visitors have reported seeing apparitions, hearing strange noises and whispers, and feeling an overwhelming sense of dread while inside the castle's walls. One of the more unnerving legends about Huska Castle involves a bottomless pit that is said to be located beneath it. According to legend, prisoners were thrown into the pit to determine whether or not it was a gateway to hell. The screams of the doomed souls who were thrown in are said to still be heard echoing through the castle's halls. The acoustics are just great, let me tell you. Some people have reported feeling like that they're being watched by something, while others have reported feeling a cold breeze and a sense of oppression, as if something sinister is waiting. Despite this castle's haunting reputation and all these various reasons why you should never go anywhere near it, it remains a popular destination for thrill seekers and horror enthusiasts. Number 3. The Zone of Silence Up next we're going to be talking about the Zone of Silence, which is one of the most threatening names I've heard for a place in a while. It sounds like a place where like an evil emperor would send you to be punished. And in a sense that could be considered true. It's a place where radio signals can't be received and compasses spin uncontrollably. Some people even say that time passes differently there. What is happening? Located in the middle of the Chihuahuan Desert, the Zone of Silence is the nickname given to a mysterious patch of desert with strange properties. Legends say that the zone was born out of the site of a meteorite crash in the 70s, which caused a nuclear-like explosion. Since then, it's become a hot spot for all manner of paranormal mystery. Lights in the sky, unexplained disappearances, and a whole lot more. Now there's all kinds of conspiracies and speculation about what happens here. But one of the more interesting ones that stood out to me has got to be the legend of a group of cryptids called the Silent Ones. These creatures are said to be humanoid with elongated limbs and featureless faces, and they emit a deafening silence. Those who are brave enough to venture forth into the zone of silence say that they feel as if they're being watched by something there. Is it the Silent Ones? Aliens? Government surveillance? All I know is I'm not going anywhere near a place called the Zone of Silence to check. I'll stay in my zone of noise. Thank you very much. Number 2. Lake Natron Our next entry is Lake Natron in Tanzania. It's instantly recognizable because the lake does not look at all like the kind of lake you'd want to go for a dip in. The scarlet red water is a sight to behold. But if you believe the legends surrounding the lake, the water is also said to be cursed by the gods themselves. And I think it has a shiny Gyarados in there too. Now there is a reasonable scientific explanation for why the lake looks like it would be Dracula's dream vacation spot. It's not running red from any body fluids, but rather a high concentration of salt and other minerals in the water giving it a ghastly hue. But. Like I mentioned before, local folklore says that the lake is cursed by the Maasai people who believe that the lake is home to evil spirits that prey on unsuspecting visitors. Here's another fun tidbit about the lake's lore. There are legends that animals that come into contact with the Crimson Lake will be instantly calcified, turning into stone statues due to the lake's incredibly dangerously high salt content. And I thought the blizzard forums were salty. That's a little gamer joke for you. There are those who say a similar fate await humans, but so far as I know, I don't think anyone's tried. The lake is dangerous enough, what with being boiling hot as well. I don't think anyone's willing to dip a pinky toe in there just to see if it'll freeze. There's also been strange reports of strange lights and apparitions appearing around the lake, as if the spirits of the dead are rising up from its depths. Is it a gateway to the underworld? A melting pot between our world and theirs? And does red water taste differently? I feel like it might have like, I don't know, maybe a raspberry or strawberry flavor. I'm not really willing to try, but let me know any out there if anyone has. And number one, snake. Island. Our final entry today is going to be the Isla de Quimara Grande, which is formerly dubbed as Snake Island, which really should tell you everything you need to know about this place. You cannot expect this to be welcoming. Traditionally, when places are named things like Snake Island, they're usually filled to bursting with snakes or they're like home to a snake themed supervillain or something. I'm pretty sure the guys who fought G.I. Joe lived on Snake Island. Well, Snake Island earned its name because, guess this, by conservative estimates there's roughly a snake for every square meter. Estimates suggest there's anything from 4,000 golden lancehead vipers or more living there. There's more snakes than there are people on this island because most Brazilian locals know far better than to go to an island where one of the most venomous snakes in the world live. Yeah, 
I left that part out. I'm gonna slide that under the door right now, buried the lead a little bit. It's not just like garter snakes slithering about here. No, 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 no. Isla de Quimera Grande is home to the Golden Lancehead, a beautiful creature in its own right, but one of the most lethal snakes on the planet. A bite from this snake can cause kidney damage, necrosis, brain hemorrhaging, venom poisoning, and internal intestinal damage. So yeah, maybe just leave them alone. Maybe. <laughs> Even if for some bizarre reason you just absolutely love going to places you're not meant to and you are just dying for a chance to go visit Toxic Snake Island, you're going to run into a bit of trouble because it is quite literally forbidden. The Brazilian government strictly monitors those who travel to the island. Naval forces visit annually to maintain the lighthouse and there is a small research station to study and analyze the local population. But all of these visits are accompanied by paramedics and trained doctors just in case any of the locals decide to say hello the only way they know how. And in a weird, weird aside, am I the only one who thinks the golden lance head is kind of cute in a weird way? I don't know. I kind of like snakes. I don't think I'd want one as a pet, but I don't know. These little danger noodles, they have very cute little eyes and adorable little beady things that I know would do unspeakable things to my body if I ever touched one. Well, that's about all she wrote for this, my ghouls and goblins. Thanks so much for watching. You creep on creeping on now, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy now.